In this video, we're going to learn about polynomials, degrees of terms, and degrees of polynomial. A polynomial is either a term or the addition or subtraction of more than one term. So here are some examples of polynomials. A number, for example, on its own is also a polynomial. When you have a coefficient multiplying with a variable, that also is a polynomial. And of course, we can add or subtract any number of these things, and that would also still be a polynomial. The tricky part, however, is with division. When you have a term being divided by a number, like this situation right here, this is considered a polynomial. However, if instead it's being divided by a variable, then it is no longer considered a polynomial. Instead, we would classify this as a rational expression. Awesome. Now, if a polynomial has exactly one term, then we can call it something else. We can call it a monomial. If the polynomial has two terms, we can call it a binomial. And if a polynomial has three terms, then we can call it a trinomial. So feel free to pause the video and take a look at some of the examples that we have written out for you for the monomials, binomials, and trinomials. Great. So now that we know that polynomials are essentially built up with a bunch of terms or perhaps just one term, let's move on to the idea of finding the degree of a term. When you're trying to find the degree of a term, all you have to do is look for the exponents and then just add the exponents together. So in this situation, we have exponents of 2, 7, and 4. And so to find the degree of this term, all we would have to do is add the exponents and we would get 13. And in this term, you will notice that there are no exponents. However, we did learn that having something like x is no different from having x to the exponent 1. So technically, the degree for this term would be 1. What about the degree of a constant? The constant doesn't have any exponent at all. Uh, it doesn't have any variables at the same time as well. Well, let's just think about that for a second. In this situation that we just covered, where we have a variable, this was a degree of 1. In this situation, there are no variables. But you can see it like this. Just imagine that there was a variable of x. Think about the situation where this x over here has the exponent of 0. Now, regardless of what the variable is, when we have an exponent of 0, we did learn that the result is going to be 1. Therefore, it would be 4 times 1, which would just be 4 all over again. So what I'm trying to say is that when you see a constant, it is in effect the same thing as that constant being multiplied by a variable that has an exponent of 0. For this reason, we generally say that constants have a degree of 0. Now we've been talking about how to find a degree of a term. Instead, sometimes we might be asked to find the degree of a polynomial. And this is how you do it. So here's an example of a polynomial. As you can see, there are three different terms. Now take a look at the degree of each of the terms. Our first term has a degree of 7. Our second term has a degree of 11. And of course, our last term has a hidden degree here of 0. So it's pretty obvious that we can see the middle term has the highest degree. And this is exactly how you choose the degree of a polynomial. You look at the degree of each of the terms, you compare them, and then you just choose the highest number. So of course, 11 is bigger than 7, 
which is also bigger than zero. So 11 is the degree of our polynomial. So that wraps up our lesson for the day, and we hope to see you in our next video.